Hi there, I'm Joseph Maxwell. Actually, as you might have guessed, I am not. To introduce myself, I am Isaac Phillips. I've been helping out with the weekly knowledge bite questions. And a bit of a short notice, uh, Joseph asked me to record a video regarding this week's knowledge bite question. And as a bit of a disclaimer, this is my first time recording a video of myself. And so if you are as uncomfortable watching this as I am making it, just bear with me, we should be able to get through this together. Now before I get into the question and discussing it, I want to recommend that you head over to swiftotter.com, uh, check out the resources that we have there. Uh, pretty incredible the amount of information that you can learn from some of the best minds in the industry. That's one of the things I love about working at Swift Otter, is the opportunity to learn from my coworkers. Some very incredible people that I get to work with, and the resources at SwiftOtter.com give you the ability to do the same thing, be able to learn from experts' experiences, the mistakes that they've made, things that they've learned over the years. So head over to SwiftOtter.com, give it a quick check. Uh, maybe you'll learn something new. No matter where we are at as developers, there is always something to learn, something to be reminded of. And it's very important to be curious. And that leads right into the question for this week. The question stemmed from something I was a little curious about. As I was thinking about the block caching that was discussed in last week's question, it made me think of a scenario that is likely pretty uncommon, but the scenario going like this. Let's take a look at the question. So you're developing a Magento 2 website for a sports equipment store. One of the pages displays a list of top selling products, which is dynamically generated based on sales data retrieved from a model, which is then accessed via a view model. Both the model and the block implement cache tag using the get identities method to ensure proper cache and validation. So again, maybe an unlikely scenario, but one that I was kind of curious as to what would be the result of that, which leads into the question. Which cache tags take precedence and are responsible for triggering cache invalidation for the top selling products block? Now, would this be a common scenario? No. But let's say for the sake of the question that you are working on some existing code, a custom module that someone else built. Maybe the thought process behind the model and the block both having specific or unique cache tags was that they wanted more granular control over the caching behavior because that's basically what that would provide. So again, each implements both the model and the block implement the get identities method with unique cache tags. So now let's take a look at the possible answers to this question. For answer A, it would be neither. Cache tags implemented in the layout XML as it defines the block's caching behavior and overrides cache tags set by the view model. Option B, cache tags implemented in the model as it retrieves sales data and is responsible for generating cache tags associated with the underlying data source. Finally, option C, cache tags implemented in the block because it handles the presentation logic and rendering of the top selling products list. So three possible answers. Let's go ahead and sort through them. So for A, the cache tags being in the layout.xml. Now we know that we have the cacheable false, obviously the alternative cacheable true attribute that we can use in the layout XML, but we can't do any configuration of the actual cache tags. So first and foremost, option A, we're going to scratch off the list. So that leaves us with options B and C. Which of those are going to be responsible for triggering cache and validation on the block? B, the cache tags in the model, the model that's supplying the data, again, via a view model to the block. Now these cache tags would be specifically applied or connected to the data being provided. So the products in the list that is being displayed by the block. 
for option C, that would be the cache tags applied inside the actual block. These are going to be specific to the actual rendering of the block, not necessarily the data specifically. Now I do have a confession to make. I did not make the question as specific as it technically should be. It's a bit open for interpretation. Is the question referencing the data in the top selling products block or is it referencing the actual block itself from a perspective of the presentation or the rendering of that data? Personally, when I wrote the question, I was thinking in reference to the data, not the presentation. But unfortunately, my thought process didn't make it into the question. So that being the case, depending on how you interpreted the question, both B and C can be correct answers. From a presentation standpoint, the rendering of the data supplied by the model, the cache tags implemented in the block are going to be responsible for triggering the cache and validation. Those are going to be directly tied to that rendering, the presenting of the data that's supplied to the block. On the other hand, the cache tags implemented in the model are going to be responsible for triggering and validation of the actual cached data that's being displayed by the block. The cache tags implemented by the block are going to be touching the display, but they aren't going to actually be affecting the data itself. So for a purpose of which is the correct answer, if you selected answer B, that the cache tags applied in the model are going to be responsible for refreshing the data in the block, you are correct. If you selected answer C, that the cache tags applied in the block are responsible for refreshing the display or the presentation that is cached of that block, you are also correct. Congratulations. Again, this is not a common use case. It was more stimulated by my curiosity as to what would happen, what that would look like, maybe even certain scenarios why that would be used. But a separation of responsibility between the caching of the block presentation and the data that's being rendered by the block could be a reason someone, someone would implement something like this. Now, congratulations. You've made it to the end of the video. Head over to swiftdaughter.com, learn something new, and stay curious.